Hello everybody and welcome. As we like to do every week, we like to take a look at the past week's market activity and then bounce around the market and look for something to trade. Well, if you've been watching the market at all, you've seen the last week it went on a huge run, right? It bounced way up. Obviously, we're still way down from the lows, but at least in the last week, we've seen at least a miniature recovery. From here, who knows where it goes? Is it going to keep shooting up? Is it going to crash? Nobody knows the future, but that's just kind of where the market's at. Huge dive down for, for a couple months in the last week, a fairly big rally. And it all looks pretty much the same. This is the S&P 500. This is the NASDAQ, obviously a similar looking picture. The Russell's the only one that looks a little different. That was kind of in a, you know, kind of a bouncing around range for a while, but it also in the last week has rallied. So what are we going to trade this week? Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of open up your horizons. I want you to just kind of think outside the box. All the, all the stuff I teach is a strict set of rules, 45 days, you know, volatility rank, certain credits, etc. But I want to show you how you can look outside the box as well and kind of expand your horizons as you start to trade more. You can kind of start creating your own way of trading. So that's what we're going to do now is show you like, hey, there's other ways to think about this stuff. So what do I mean by that? So what I'm going to do is, and again, this is just purely my choice as to what I'm going to trade, but I just want to show you how to think outside the box. So I'm going to go to Walmart. And the reason I'm going to Walmart is a couple things. One, like everything else, has taken a huge dive from its top, and then obviously a huge crash around earnings, and it's recovered slightly as well. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take like a long-term look at this thing. I'm going to say, hey, do I believe in Walmart for the long term? Meaning, let's say six months from now, seven months from now, do I think Walmart will be higher than it is today? And I, one way you can do that is you can obviously buy stock. But buying stock is expensive, which is why we got options in the first place. One of the reasons is at $117 a share, if I wanted to just buy 100 shares, it's going to cost me over eleven thousand dollars and not everybody's got that kind of money to play with or even if they have it wants to risk eleven thousand dollars on one trade because walmart could obviously go down from here as well so how can we do a long-term trade with our assumption being we think walmart will be higher in the future so here's what i'm going to do i'm going to go over to the trade page and you can see the different obviously there's always these different strike expirations and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to make a bet that by the end of the year, right, in December, at the end of the year, Walmart is higher than it is today. That's it. Simple assumption, right? So Walmart's at 130 bucks, 128.48 right now. Six months from now, seven months from now, at the end of the year in December, do I think Walmart will be higher or lower? I'm going to make the bet that it's going to be higher. Again, purely an assumption. You can make the bet the other way as well. But here's how you do it. So if I open up this trade page, real simple, all I'm going to do is do the same kind of long call vertical that I always do, except I'm just making it a much further expiration cycle. I'm making a long-term bet. This is essentially like a stock play, but a cheap version of stock because I can't afford $11,000, but I can't afford to do an option trade. And just like we always do with buying verticals, what we do is we buy a strike just below the stock price and we sell a strike just above the stock price. So if I go here to buy vertical, you can see I'm buying the 125 strike. I'm selling the 130 strike, and that creates a $5 wide vertical. And this is going to come down to, again, thinking outside the box. Usually we're looking to pay roughly 50 cents per dollar width, right? But when we're going six months out, it's just totally whatever you're comfortable with. So in this case, this trade as of right now, would mean I'm paying $280 for the chance to make $220. And how do I know that? It's because this is a $5 wide vertical and the max potential loss, which is what we pay for this thing, plus the max potential gain has to equal five bucks. So if I'm risking 280, the most I can make is 220, which as we know is $220. So if I make this trade today, what does that actually, how does that play out? Well, when you make a trade this far in advance, six months, the daily movements up and down do not have a big effect on a vertical that's only going to expire in six months. Really, the big moves, even if the stock went way up tomorrow or way down tomorrow, this might only move 20 or 30 cents. The real big moves are not going to happen until within a few months of expiration. So again, this is just a long-term play. 
I'm going to go back to the chart here. All I'm saying is, essentially, seven months from now, do I think the stock will be higher than it is right now? And if you believe that, and you're willing to wait with some patience, because I don't know the intermediate time, right? My whole deal with this trade is, I don't know in the next month or two or three with the market being so crazy and the world all being crazy, what's going to happen in this range. But my bet is in December that yes, the stock will be above where it is today. And that's the trade I'm making. So I'm buying again the end of the end of the year, December, it's got 200 days till expiration. I'm buying the same call vertical. Whatever I pay for it is whatever I pay for it. It really comes down to what you're comfortable with, risk, reward. How much am I willing to risk and what's my reward? And this could be $4 risking $4 to make $1. It's totally up to you. And you go this long term, the rules are essentially out the window. It's a different set of rules. And that's why I'm saying we're thinking outside the box here. We're making a long term play that six months from now we believe stock uh, Walmart is higher than it is today. So that's our outside the box trade for Walmart six months from now betting that the stock price is going to be higher than it is today. And it only has to be above 130 for this to be a full winner. So six months from now, if this is only $1.50 higher and that's where it closes, I will make $220 on this trade. Again, that's our outside the box Walmart trade for this week. Hello everybody, Cal here with what I believe is an exciting opportunity. But just before we get started, I want to make sure you're aware that I do have quite a few courses up on Udemy. All the ones that are available are listed here. And some people don't know that these first three here are an actual three-part series. So number one in the series would be understand options. Number two would be basic option strategies. And number three would be make and manage profitable trades. Again, if you're taking one, now you know that it's a three-part series. You might want to take part two and three, or if you're in two, take three, etc. And then I have a couple extra courses there as well. But, but the purpose of this video is because I want to get you up and trading as quickly and confidently as possible. And the best way I've come up with to do that is to create a trade alert so you can watch me trade in real time. You can trade alongside with me. You can watch me trade. I send out two to three real-time trade alerts per week. And you can sign up for this by going to SharperTrades.com. Click on the Products button and you'll see these two alerts pop up, Basic and Pro. They're both the same alert. The only difference between the two is Pro will give you access to all the courses I've created. But I want you to do this with as little risk as possible. So if you go to the trade to the Sharper Trades page and you type in this code, BASIC1YTB, you will get the first month of the basic alert for only a dollar. So I can't really do it any cheaper than that, but I want you to have access to it so you can see if it's something you want to do and learn from. Again, you can cancel at any time. So in the first month, it's only a dollar. If you continue after that, it'll go up to $49 a month moving forward. But the first month is about as risk-free as you can get. It's only a dollar. And also, if you sign up for the Pro at the same time, you'll get a discount on that one for the first month as well before it kicks into the $99 a month. So love to see you there. Love to get you up and trading as quickly and easily as possible. Take care.